welcome and thanks to your company today. Let's start with some warming up exercises, beginning with the leg muscles. But it's not legs that we're doing today, we're actually going to do some low impact exercises. So lunging out from side to side, we'll start the warm up routine nice and easy. Pressing it out, good. And it's five and six, seven, two counts to the right, hold left side, hold for two, sinking down to the right. And again, push, push, holding those tummy muscles in everyone. Broaden up through the chest and the collarbones. One more to go to the left corner. Squeeze your butt nice and tight. Now draw your legs in. Just starting out with some easy squats, just to make sure those leg muscles are really warmed up. And I find that squatting exercise is one of those sort of the best ways. Not only are they terrific leg workouts, but they're fantastic for warming up this part of the body. We'll do one more, and then march your legs back to the center. Keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So a simple swing from the arms, a little bit of a rotation coming from the hips. I want to brace up that tummy, so swing the leg in, rolling down through those heels. Push, push. Now can you point the feet as strong as you can? Pick them up quick, quick. Turn into the waist, try to keep the shoulders square, and then we'll rock the arms to the side. Here we go, eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two. Now bring everything square to the body. Pushing straight forward and back, including the arms. Rock it. Lengthen the arms out here. We'll stay for another eight counts, and seven, six. Deep breath every once in a while, making sure you really feed those muscles up with oxygen. Easy walk, let's go. Four of these, press, and again. Come on, everyone, one more. Now march on the spot, stay right here for eight. And seven, shoot those knees out in front. We'll do one more, return to the easy walk. A little bit wider if you're comfortable enough, but be sure to sink your weight down on top of those legs. Straight on with the march. Stretch the arms forward and back. Good. And five and six. Now next time we come back to the easy walk, what I'm gonna do is change and vary the first two easy walks. All right, march in the spot and stretch the arms forward and back. Come on, pull tight. Do two more. Now do four easy walks, watch the first two. I come up into an alternating knee and then two easy walks, okay? It's a march in position. Stretch the arms forward and back. Well done again, and five, six, ready? Alternate your knee. So pick up the left knee, switch leg, right knee, and down into an easy walk. Do one more. Now march in position. Stretch the arms for eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, and three, four, three, two, one. Alternate knee. Do two easy walk, sinking. Now march on the spot, pressing it through. So your alternating knee lifts and the easy walk is gonna be part of our low impact today. Alternate knee lifts again, pull the arms in. Easy walk, press. Now instead of marching, mambo chasse. Step to the left, chasse. Step to the right, chasse. Step to the left, chasse. Alternate knee lift, pick up the left knee. Do two easy walks down here. You're gonna take your right leg, place it in the left corner of the room. Step, little hop, little hop again, push. Ready, alternate knee left. Swing it nice and high, and then straight down into an easy walk. Do one more. Now mambo, and move yourself right across to the right corner. Just a quick hop, one more to go. Alternate knees. Here we go, step it up. Drop the weight down into those easies. Mambo, then chasse across. Swing the arms, left. Couple more, everybody. Now do your alternating knee lifts. Watch the variation. Step, twist. Step, twist. Straight down into an easy walk. Mambo, chasse again. Now that little step, twist move is a change, of course. If you're not liking it, stay with the alternating knee lift. Right leg, we step, twist. Left leg. Good job, sinking down. Straight into the mambo step. Right across, well done. Last time, everybody. Okay, let's do a march in position. Start to pump the arms straight up and down. That completes the warm-up section. Now, the first three moves that you've done, they are going to be part of our low impacts today. So there you had it, you had a preview, you've had a trial, you've had a taste of the movement, so you know what's coming up. We'll see you soon right after this for some more.
Position your left leg behind the body as we just work through some upper body moves. And while we're stretching quickly into the leg area, pull those tummy muscles in, brace your abdominals, and have a sense that your trunk is sitting directly in the center, up nice and high above the hip. One more with the arms, breathing out, and change the legs. So stretch the right behind, locate the heel into the ground so you're stretching out the calf muscle, front leg is bent. We open the arms this way, so you're getting a stretch and a workout into the chest and the back, pressing it through. Please don't let the body fall forward. We want it sitting directly above the hips. So pull your shoulders back. We'll do two more. One to go. Good job. Marching in position. Well, what we're going to do is take you right back to the very beginning. So the step twist, we'll put that in a little later on. All right, just in case there's anyone that's tuned in today. So girls, we're going to start from the top. Four easy walks to begin with. Ready? Here we go. Four easies. Good. Do two more. And then we're going to go straight into the Mambo Chasse. Here we go. One, step across, two, step across, three. Now do the four easy walks again. So next time we come back this, it's two alternating knee lifts. One more, Mambo Chasse. So in case we've got anyone joining us today who don't really enjoy all these little tricky combinations, you've got the option, alternating knee lift. Right knee, two easies. Sink your weight down. Mambo, one over here, lift. Another one. Now ready to insert the step twist. Here, step, twist, change. Good. Straight down into the easy. Mambo cross. Big one for this one. One lots of lift. Let's do the step twist one more time. Go again. Step, twist. Take it behind. Easy walk. Be generous with that twist. Now only three mambos here, because we're going to do everything on the left. One more. March on the spot. Alternate knee lift. Bring the right leg up first. Two easies on the left. Now you mambo. Step over to the right corner. Three of these. No, we'll make it four instead. One more. Alternate knee lift. Right knee up. Left knee. Down we come. Mambo. Here we go. So get ready for that little change. The step twist is going to come into it. Step twist. Woo! Easy. Mambo. Just keep it nice and light on that step twist. Remember, you've got to pivot on the ball of the foot so you're not locking your ankle. Step twist. Left. Ooh. Shake it out. Over here. Mambo. So we're going to cut the choreography in half after this little section. We'll do everything on the right and left again. Step twist. Good. Show me some hip. Easy. Well done. Remember, only three counts. One over here, one more. March on the spot. Step twist, right leg lead. Big. Soft into the knees, easy. Good. Mambo, cross the right leg. Remember, it's always crossing in front of the body. Last one, march. Step twist, left. Step, push. Soft into the knees, easy walk. Left crosses over to the right. Flow the arms into the exercise, it really helps. March, step twist, go again. Big push, show me some hip. Good job, down, mambo. Come on everybody, you can do it at home. Good, last one, ready for the step. March, step twist, left leg. Drop, easy down, tummy in, mambo. Cross it over, good, press, one more. March on the spot. One more time, right leg lead. How we go? Looks good. <laughs> Mambo. <laughs> nice and high. Use the arms if you want. March. Step twist, left leg. Big. Pivot. Easy down. Cross over. Keep pulling your shoulders back behind you. So you just really stay strong through the trunk. Everybody. Step, tap, right leg goes out, left to right. Now this is the lateral movement. We're gonna do three alternating taps, travel our way to the left, repeat on the left side. So it adds a great bind in between. Keep the arms nice and light. Here comes the count. We go one, two, travel, and let it go. Kind of relax the arms during the traveling session. Okay, just see how my arms are really nice and loose. I'm just kind of fanning them out to the back of the room. Just takes the stress off the shoulders and allows me to just focus on the legs. 
the arms are just adding a little bit of intensity, but they're not a dominating part of the workout. Here we go, right leg lead again. Woo, left. We'll do one more each way with this one. And when you come back to your right corner, it's a single curl from side to side. Ready? Step curl, add a clap, big one. Good, press it out. Heel comes up. Good job, everybody. All right, remember the routine. We'll be back. We'll put it all, all of you through the whole thing again. See you soon. Sorry. <laughs> Well, I hope you kept yourself moving throughout the break. Just a little bit of a heel tap until we get the rhythm of the music joining in on our footsteps. Hands resting on your hips, hold that tummy muscle in, and let's start with an easy march on the spot. Pressing it through, working your weight down into those heels. So remember, step twists, easy walk, your little mambos, and then your side toe tap, alternating from the right to left. Are you ready, gang? Go again, come on, step, twist. Good, easy. Mambo across, so we're going to really big on this one. Good, one more to go. March on the spot. Side toe tap, three alternating. So don't let the arms dominate the exercise. Move it across to the right corner. So you've got your lateral movements into this. Push, push, push. Last one across, and then that final move. Step curl, add a clap. Come on, we've got big on this one. Knees are soft, pressing it through. Stay with this. Feel your trunk sitting right on top of those hips. You're not leaning forward. Compromising four, five, six. From the beginning, step twist. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, eight. Sinking down. Mambo. Cross it over. Even the arms come in front of the body. One more. March. Side toe tap. Stick it out. Move. And travel. Again, really get your arms pulled back now. Working into the upper back. Last one to go. Push, push, step curl. Big claps, everybody. Heel curl. Come on. Now, if anyone wants to jump at home, you can make yourself do it through this movement. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Ready. Step twist. Here it comes. One, two, two, two. Sink your weight down. Mambo. Press. You're in the last section. Come on. Really work it hard. March. Side toe tap, work the arms and legs out, move it, sit your shoulders back. And again, left to right, brace your abdominals, one more to go, prepare, step curl, big one. Feel the weight lifting up, press, 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 stay with us for another set of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, step, twist. Easy. Ready for the mambo step. Cross over, use the arms. Well done, girls. Push it, march on the spot. Side toe tap, get the arms into it. You've got to feel your body weight sinking down on top of those legs. Have a sense of length there. Come on, stretch it out. One more to go. Ready for the step curl. Here it comes. Now, the next time you do this, you're going to create a square on the first four, then stay here on the second. Then you turn again on the first set, uh, second set, and then you stay here again. From the beginning, step twist. One, two, two, two. Drop the weight down. Mambo across. Big movement through the arms and legs. Last one. March on the spot. Side toe tap. Press. Move it across. Big breath. Coming up again. Do it again. So remember, as soon as you get into those step curls, you're turning yourself to the left corner. Make a shape of a square. One, two, three, four. Hold here. Then you do the same on the second set, which is this one again. And hold here. From the beginning, everybody, step twist. Left leg. Easy. Sinking down. Straight into your mambo. Up and lift. One to go. March, side toe tap, open the arms, travel. Make the movements a bit bigger now. You're almost to the end. Come on, let it go. Sink down, stretch the arms. Ready for the step curl, turning to the right. Big square here. 
four for first. Do it again on the second set. This is it. You have finished off the low impact section. What I want you to do is stay with this one. Do a double knee, left leg comes up two counts. Right again, left again, and right again. Couple more times. Brace your abdominals. Just add a bit of a rotation with the arm for this exercise. Step touch, hold. Keep it nice and steady, five, six. Double knee again, press through. Four step touches, hold here. Do a double knee on the left leg. Double knee on the right, four step touches. Stay with this one, a couple more. And this is what I'm gonna leave you with. Just a double knee, winding everything down now. Finish off with a step tap, okay? Double knee, just a little flick this time because it's important that you wind yourself down in preparation for stretch. We'll see you soon. ourselves down to the floor for some floor stretches so just lunging yourself back we'll start with some hip flexors and then front thigh placing your hands on the ground line your front knee up with the heel and the ankle and just allow that back hip to work its way into the stretch just lift the bottom up slightly a little bit of length through the spine settle the shoulders down and just stay here for a couple of breaths ah, relaxing into the stretch well I hope you enjoyed that little routine and it wasn't uh, at all complicated, pressing it through. And now allowing your bottom to move back and then switch legs. Striking forward, hands down here as you ease your hip to the floor, front knee lining up with the heel. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Good, and then come down. What we're going to do is get you down into a resting stretch. This is a great stretch for the lower back muscles. Ensure your feet are together have an issue with your knee on the, such a hard floor, hard surface, always remember the cushion can be pretty handy. So place the cushion under your knees, stretch your arms forward and allow your forehead to settle down to relax the back of the neck. Be as tension free as possible. Okay, we're going to come up on all fours and I'd like you now to take you through a stretch for the front of your thighs. This is a great position to be in, we're going to lie you down on your tummy. Okay. This arm crosses over in front so that you're allowed to rest your head on top of it. I'm going to keep my head up due to the microphone here, but at home. Girls, could you keep your head down? Just stretch, pull the foot in towards the butt and just allow the heel to touch down towards the back of the leg. And you can feel the stretch working into the front of the thigh. So be sure to rest the head down so you're not holding the head up, creating a lot of tension and stiffness into the neck area. And just stay here for a few seconds. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Often when we're, we're often tightening the area that we're trying to stretch into, so you can just pay attention to those front leg muscles and allow them to relax as much as they can. You can feel the stretch working its way a little deeper. Okay, the more you fight it, the more it's going to be hard for you. So just relax into the stretch. Okay, let the foot go and try it on the other side. So need to raise the head, catch the foot, pull the heel in, changing legs, and then allow the head to come down. I'll do mine a little later on. Take a deep breath and allow those leg muscles that you're stretching into to really relax. Just let them melt their way into the ground. Hold it there for a few seconds and then let it go. Now to come out of this position, you roll yourself onto the side, swing your knees up towards the body like this, come up to a sit position. Now we're beginning to stretch. I'm going to do a rotational movement. This is great for mobility of the trunk. Legs are like this, feet flat, and you simply cross your right arm over the left leg. Just making sure those knees stay upright, taking, swinging that left hand behind the body, and pull yourself up nice and tall. Okay, coming out of the stretch, little twist across, holding those knees upright. Five and six, seven and eight. In a cross-legged position, we'll just let the body roll down, now, if you find this position a little awkward to sit in, what you can do is sit yourself on top of a cushion, so perhaps your lower back muscles need a little bit of elevation. I teach a lot of yoga and I always encourage my participants to actually get themselves up, 
so their hips will come up a little higher than their knees and they do sit in a lot of cushions and they find the exercise is so much more easier and there's less pull and stress on the back area. Reaching it down because that's the area we're trying to stretch into so if your back is in a rounded position it's in a very awkward position to start in you're not going to get the full benefits of the stretch. Sit yourself up and we'll switch the legs over so the back one goes in front and that way there's an evenness about the movement. Sinking down you don't have to reach the hands too far forward. It's not really the important issue here. The whole issue is just to have a sense of flatness through the lower back, so you're not sinking, collapsing right here. Pull up tall. And relax. Stretch the legs out in front. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps. Take a big breath in. As you breathe out, just slide your hands along the leg and stop when you start to feel the stretch working into the muscles of the back of your thigh and the lower back. Often your knees will probably rise up, and that's due to the fact that your leg muscles are probably very stiff. So what you need to do is pull yourself back from the intensity of the stretch and teach your leg muscles to really press down. Okay, you may not be able to reach here, but that way we've got you in a better position. I'm gonna leave you with a great stretch. Right heel on top of the left foot, and get yourself in another twist position. Grab the side of the calf muscle if you can't reach that far. Stay here for about 30 seconds, do the same on the other leg some shoulder neck stretches. Take care of yourself. That's all we have for you today. Bye from all of us.